Hey friends. friends, I'm Grace Ann and I'm Andrea and we are GNA for today. We are two best friends living a faith-based lifestyle and documenting it. Make sure you follow us on social media. We have an Instagram and a Twitter and they're both at GNA for today. The links for those will be in the description box. We both also have personal social media. I have an Instagram and a Twitter which will be linked on the screen and in the description and Andrea has both of those social media platforms which will be flashing on the screen and in the description as well. So be sure to check those out. Make sure you watch last week's video. It was about my hobbies and what I like to do in my spare time and it was a lot of fun filming it so I hope that y'all enjoy watching it. So this week's video will be a little different as you can tell. I am in a different location um, but I'm doing a couple of ministry things right now so I'm um, currently ministering to a close family of ours that has had a death in the family. So I am not in my, my normal home um, residing in their guest room so I'm filming in here today but we will be doing um, kind of a life update so since we started this channel about four months ago, a lot has happened to both of us and we feel like we wanted to just kind of update you guys on where we're going, what we're doing, what we're up to. Um, and so we can kind of explain what our filming will be like um, since we've already kind of split and we're filming, Andrea filming at school and me filming at home. So with that all being said, let's hop into the video. So life update. Um, so right now I am in my senior year at school and I'm almost done. Right now I'm not sure if I will graduate in May or in the summer in August. All I know is that I'm not staying another semester but it just depends on this one class whether or not I will graduate in May or in August but I am almost there. I'm so close I can taste it. I've been itching to graduate lately but yeah I'm almost done with my senior year and I'm having a lot of fun. I just love living with my roommates, they're a great time. But one thing that has really changed in my life recently is I got a boyfriend. Um, I met him at the church I was interning with this summer and yeah, so we've been dating for a while now and it is going so great, you guys. He is so amazing and I just love being with him and yeah. He's really cute and I like him a lot. <laughs> He's really sweet and um, I miss him a lot. I know that I knew that long distance would be really hard, but it's like really, really hard. I hate being away from him, but we're really fortunate because we've been able to, he's come up here to visit a couple times and so we still have gotten to see each other, but next semester we probably won't be able to see each other so much, but yeah, this semester is almost over and I'll get to spend some time with him for Thanksgiving and for Christmas time and you guys if you are discouraged about finding your mate or whatever just don't settle for whatever comes walking by like wait and you will be rewarded that's what I found I feel like I waited a while and now I got the best out there so sorry you can't have him but he is the best <laughs> so another thing that has changed in my life is I've actually started selling this nail polish stuff and I love it it's hopefully it'll focus on my nails I have ha oh happy Halloween you guys I have these Halloween nails on right now and I love there's a wasp outside my window so help me if it tries to get in here I hate bees I, I'm like itching. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I've been selling this nail polish stuff and it's like they're stick-ons but they're 100% nail polish but they are like dried nail polish. It's kind of confusing unless you actually try them yourself. I love this stuff so, so, so much. I was sold within the like first couple days of me trying them. Like I can cut my nails and file them and they're still they still look perfect I just don't understand you cannot do that with SNS and gel like it would crack and it's like so affordable I'm not trying to sell this stuff to you guys right now I'm just like I love this stuff so much so I decided to sell it and I'm doing I'm not like a millionaire or anything but I'm doing pretty well like I'm surprised with sorry my voice is like this <laughs> but I'm doing pretty well like I've already made money back and I just started selling it in August I think 
and it's October. I just feel like with a lot of companies, it takes you forever to actually make money. But with this company, I it's, it hasn't taken me very long at all. It's really easy to sell and it's really fun and I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna link in the description a place where you can buy it because this stuff is so great and I want everyone to be able to try it. But if you don't wanna actually spend money on it, then DM me, text me if you have my number, whatever, and I can send you a free sample. I'm so sorry I'm weird, but <laughs> yeah, so I love, love, love selling this stuff. Um, I don't really know what else is, is an update in my life right now. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. I think I'm on season like 11. All the tears. So like this video if you are a Grey's Anatomy lover because the struggle is real right now, you guys. It's so hard to choose to do homework over watching Grey's Anatomy. I sound like the most basic girl ever, but it is the truth. The wasp is still there. But I guess that's the big things that's going on my, in my life. I'm a senior, getting ready to graduate. I got a boo. <laughs> and I'm selling nail polish. If you hate bees, comment an emoji of a bee. There's probably a bee emoji, right? Like the these kind of bees, like the ones that make all that noise. Comment an emoji of that if you hate bees. But that is my life. That's the updates I got for you. Some pretty big things, some not so big things, just life. So a little update um, on me is first and foremost, I am still working with the church plant. I've actually quit my job as a waitress. Woohoo! Um, and I am working as an instructor at a local high school. I instruct their color guard team. If you don't know what that is, look up videos of marching bands and then the pretty like dancers and flags that are going around. That's what that is. That's what color guard is. It's like a combination of flags and weapons like wooden rifles and sabers. We toss things in the air and we catch them. It's a fun thing. I really enjoyed it. I marched um, color guard for five years or well, I guess five seasons. And um, I had a really great time doing that. And I was asked to become a coach and a director there um, at this local high school. And I'm really, really enjoying that. Um, I, I love it so much. It is um, something I've always wanted to do. And I've wanted to lead and instruct and coach and things like that outside of the church. And so getting to do that in ministry and in an outside ministry like a school system is really rewarding for me because I'm contracted through the band boosters so I'm not associated with the county system so I'm allowed to talk to my students about things like religion and faith and what I believe and they are all the time asking me questions about what I do as a youth minister and what my church looks like and stuff like that so um, it's it's really been a blessing to be working there um, other than that health wise um, I have a good update. I am on the road to being listed as a transplant candidate on the um, transplant list, which sounds really intimidating and kind of scary, and it is, but it's also really, really exciting because it means that I will get to experience life again, um, and I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I have a great team of doctors here and my cardiologists and my endocrinologists and my um, infectious disease doctors and etc cetera, etc cetera, are really really amazing and um, we have such a great team working on the transplant coordination and um, I have a wonderful transplant coordinator who I'm like really good friends with and um, so I'm excited I'm thrilled um, I am so ready to get transplant over with and to um, have a heart that beats normally and to get rid of my little device. Along the lines of my health journey, uh, I was recently hospitalized with pneumonia, which was unfortunate, but I'm on the mend, which is good. And that has led them to do more testing and more scanning for transplant and has identified me as a better candidate for transplant, which is good. Um, I've already completed my transplant evaluation, which is basically this week long, well, I guess it's about half a week, half a week long um, evaluation process where you go to the hospital every day as an outpatient 
and you um, have all of these tests done where they check um, the size of your body and your abdomen and your chest and the size of your heart and your liver and your gallbladder and all of these really kind of interesting things. They take labs, they do scans of your brain and of your body, they do um, perfusion lung scans where they can like see how much air you're moving through your lungs and how much fluid you carry in your system. It's very interesting. Um, so we've done a whole half week of transplant evaluation and they have decided that pending a couple of tests that we need uh, kind of reassurance on that I will be listed within the next three months, which means I could receive a heart within the next year, which is really, really exciting. Um, of course, I will be documenting it as much as possible. I want you guys to come along this journey with me because I think it's important to share chronic illness and what it is like living with it and being a Christ follower. And especially with something as big as transplant, I would love to share that experience with you guys and share the realities of it because I think there are a lot of misconceptions about transplant, um, especially heart transplant. There are a lot of people who worry that, you know, rejection is possible and that the heart won't beat and etc cetera, etc cetera. with the heart transplant the benefits definitely outweigh the outweigh the risks that's a hard sentence to say say that three times fast but um i'm very excited about it and i'm looking forward to working with the team and receiving the call so definitely be praying for that i don't really know if there's much else going on in my life um I think that's pretty much it. Pretty mundane. I'll be going back to school to finish my bachelor's degree in the spring, hopefully, just at a local community college doing some online stuff with Gardner Webb University, which is uh, where I will be attending to get my Master's of Divinity. So I'll be finishing that soon. Other than that, I feel like everything's pretty normal. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We absolutely love making content for you guys. So we would love for you to put in the comments anything that you enjoyed about this video or if you want to give us some live updates so we can stay up to date on your life as well because we want to get to know you guys. But thank you so much for watching. Guys, make sure you hit that like button down below that you hit the button right next to it which is the big red subscribe button so that you subscribe to our channel and you hit the little notification bell so that you get notifications every single time we post a video. We post every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Exactly one week from today at two o'clock. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> we are going to be doing another segment of our Food for the Soul. That's what we call our Reading Through the Bible segment. And we're gonna start with James. Y'all, James is such a good book. I'm hyped for this. So put on your calendars right now. Thursday at two o'clock. James, food for the soul. Because it's going to be a great time, great time, great time. We love reading the Bible and we love Jesus. So please join us in that. Bye, Bye friends. friends.